Word up Friday. More like Fry-yay, right? TGIF, everybody. That's Grandpa in Florida. Come on, those letters can spell whatever you'd like. Hey, welcome to HQ Words, where all your dreams of letters come true. I am your host, the queen of words, Anna Roisman. Ooh, you can catch my Fallback Friday photos right here, all over social media. If you're out and about and you want to treat your friends and family to something nice for the weekend, I got you. Tonight's prize is $1,000. Ooh, I'd go shopping with that money or maybe I'd invest it. That's probably the smarter move. Before we begin, are you super spinning tonight? Are you? If you've updated your app, if you've referred any friends to HQ, even if they have it because you have a clean slate, you probably received a super wheel. You could use it now, you could use it later, that's your call. It's up to you. But right now, how about you spin the wheel around my face? I said spin it, you're gonna be the one that wins it, cause after all, it's the HQ we all. It works, it rhymes, it totally does. It's time for that first puzzle. The faster you solve, the more points you can earn. So let's get this weekend started already. Are you ready? I'm ready. Your first hint is rock instrument. Come on, rock stars. Type in the letters S, B, and R. Ooh, I'm giving them away. This is the core of any rock song, okay? It's an important instrument, whether it's electric or not electric. Rock instrument, I'm already rocking out in my head. The answer is bass guitar. The bass guitar is the core, I say, of any rock song. 124,936, got it right. 13,501. You know that song, Another One Bites the Dust? Dun, dun, dun. Another One Bites the Dust. You need that bass guitar on that song or else it's just not that song. All right, if you think you've got the it factor, you better play tomorrow night because we're having another Smarter Day on HQ. There will be a theme. It's not a before and after theme, but it is a, it's a tough theme because it's Smarter Day, but I think you'll rise to the occasion. I really do. Anyone have any fun plans this weekend, huh? I don't know what I want to do, but I was thinking maybe I'll go to the zoo. Type in this zoo attraction. What are we gonna see at the zoo? This one's a cute one, okay? It's got simple colors. I'm a fan of them. You have one question. Do you think they actually know Kung Fu? I'm talking about a giant Panda, not a little one, a giant one. You want to see one? Here's a great one. Ooh, the little baby panda, I think scared the giant panda. And the world goes round. Look at that giant panda. 114,785 are coming to the zoo with me. We lost 11,382. We say goodbye on giant panda. But let me tell you, since we're out together, it's Friday night, we're spending quality time together while we word it up. I have to know, are you super in love? Hopefully with me, but it's cool. It's cool if it's someone else, that's fine. This is just a really nice way to describe how super in love you are. I'm super in love with you, I love that. Right? How far would you go for love? I'm talking about head over heels. Head over heels. And don't be alarmed if I fall. We lost 26,000. 523, but 88,887 are safe. I am head over heels in love with you. All you word nerds, come on. Sometimes when you're in love, everything just seems perfect, right? Like this moment right now, especially when there are moments of total agreement. I mean, same page, right? You're both thinking the same outcome, total agreement. Look, it doesn't always happen, right? You bicker. But when it does, this is a pretty great way to describe it. Hopefully we're in total agreement right now because I really want you to solve this puzzle. 
The answer is seeing eye to eye. Are we seeing eye to eye right now? Ooh, we are, 74,671. Just got that right, 16,526 eliminated on seeing eye to eye. I'm staring at you right now, baby. I feel like someone out there is seeing eye to eye with someone else on this very punk hairdo. This is a bold look, babe. So if you have this, I commend you. And I must see pics. All right, send me those pictures. Cause this is a true punk style. Probably takes a while to do in the morning too. But I think it's very cool, very intimidating. Very punk. The answer is hot pink mohawk. You know who's had a hot pink mohawk? Pink herself! Check that out! That doesn't look easy to maintain. Great to get it to stand up so tall and great. Hot pink mohawk, 66,302 are still in the game. 9,868 eliminated on hot pink mohawk. But you know what, just like pink, so what? You're a rock star, you've got those rock moves and you've just made it. Oh, we're halfway there. You care. Ooh, that's a new, that's a new halfway song. I'm trying it out. Only a few more to go, wordies. Okay, maybe we'll celebrate your win with this regional dessert. Mmm, it's time for dessert. This is an amazing dessert, right? It's got a little bit of everything. It's got chocolate, it's got vanilla, you name it. I've never actually had this regional dessert, but I feel like I have because there's a very popular donut inspired by it. And I've had that. I'm talking about a Boston cream pie! Ooh, you ever have that Boston cream pie donut? I've had that, but I haven't had the actual pie. And I lived in Boston for four years. Come on, Boston! 54,258! Solve the puzzle. You're getting some Boston cream pie tonight. If you know where to get it, let me know, I want some. Sometimes we are just too busy in our day to say everything in full, right? We abbreviate, bay, right? Come on. So tell me this spelled out acronym. This is something that you would say when you're ending a conversation. Really? Some people type it, some people text it. I don't know, I feel like it's cool nowadays to just flat out say the acronym. But right now, you gotta spell it out. The answer is, talk to you later. T-T-Y-L, T-T-Y-L, babe. 53,505, I'm talking to you right now because you're still in the game. 2,818, T-T-Y-L. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. T-T-Y-L right now. Since it's Friday, here's another acronym for you. Hashtag FBF, which is Fallback Friday. So tell me this 80s fashion trend. I'm gonna come out right off the bat and say this is an accessory. And it's probably more useful today than it was in the 80s if you really think about it. But it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty fun. Probably looks Dope with a pink mohawk. The 80s fashion trend is fingerless gloves. Who's wearing fingerless gloves? Ooh, Don't Bender go. from the Breakfast Club. Yeah, he is. Although you couldn't tell, he gave you a fist, but they're fingerless gloves. They really are. 44,303 solved the puzzle. 9,714 eliminated. Imagine, fingerless gloves. I mean, they sell them today. They're really helpful if you're using your thumbs and playing, I don't know, on your phone, like a game like HQ Words. Fingerless gloves, if you're playing outside. Those gloves are so good for texting too, right? I feel like, I don't know, they're convenient. Speaking of convenience, what are these convenient amenities? I'm all about making life easy. And this helps. Are you the type of person who's really good at chores around the house? I'm not. But this might excite you. I'm 
I'm talking about a stackable washer and dryer. You got laundry in your house, you got that stackable washer and dryer, you must be killing it. 26,414 solved the puzzle. I feel like we just had our first schooled puzzle. We lost 20,263. You got schooled out of the puzzle. That's all right, maybe you got a lot of laundry to do. You know what? I've never had a stackable washer and dryer in any house that I have had since I was a child when I didn't even do laundry. It's, you know, it would be pretty convenient though if we had it, right? You know what else is pretty convenient? I don't know, that we're all together here on a Friday ready to party, cause you just made it to the final puzzle. Ooh, how sweet does a win sound to start off the weekend. We began tonight's journey with over 135,000 students, and now we're about to find out who goes home a master, who's getting their masters tonight. Your final hint is pretty fun, cause it's a messy activity. Hope you got a napkin. You're gonna need it. Or maybe even a whole roll of paper towels. That seems better. Messy activity for the win. We should do this sometime here. The answer is chicken wing eating contest. Oh, who's eat, how many wings am I gonna eat tonight? I gotta say, you didn't have to eat any chicken to win this contest. We have 25,873 professional word nerds. You just won HQ words. Woo! Okay, 25K, okay, okay. Oh, look at this beautiful, look at these beautiful falling tiles of beauty. <laughs> I wanna see what, what are 25,873 of you going home with tonight. This is a great way to kick off the weekend. With a brag, you better brag all over Twitter that you just won a chicken wing eating contest because you did, you kind of did. And you're going home with four cents. Okay, that's amazing. We've got a couple of fun people who are very fast tonight. What's up, Chad? Chad's coming in third tonight. Landau, 1120. Looks like you're taking home, guess what? Four cents, ooh, so exciting. And Billy Zhang in first, first place tonight. You're still typing, typing, typing fast, although everyone's going home with equal prize tonight. And that is the game for this evening. I wanna congratulate all of our winners, all 25K of you, our latest players who joined HQ Words tonight for the first time. Oh my gosh, I would love to have a sleepover because tomorrow's Saturday, but I am head over heels for this bass guitarist and we're gonna go eat some Boston cream pie. <laughs> Woo, true story. I am Anna Roisman. Follow me here on social media. I feel like we're really seeing eye to eye tonight, so it's gonna be be great. I will see you tomorrow night for Smarter Day. Ooh, on HQ Words at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, right after trivia. Go refer those friends to get a super wheel spin. You might want it tomorrow. And have an awesome Friday night. Okay, rock those mohawks. I will see you in no time. Peace and love, word nerds. Bye. <laughs>